Cocoon is a stunningly beautiful game in both art style and mechanics. As a newly hatched world hopping explorer, you venture off into a hauntingly desolate layered multiverse filled with extra dimensional puzzles and godlike realm guardians attempting to thwart your progress. Learn to harness the power of each world as you embark on a journey to find your place among them. The initial moments of Cocoon show off a minimalist barren landscape, one not too unfamiliar but that slowly becomes more and more alien, especially as you make your first jump into a new world. Throughout Cocoon, the world, or worlds as it happens, all point to an almost ancient and desolate dying existence, watched over by the few remaining guardians whose designs have at the same time both familiar shapes and movements but an unknowable alien presence. Even as the environments slowly become an almost Geiger-esque landscape of organic material, the lonely desolation remains and you are urged forward to face these ancient guardians in an attempt to wrest these worlds from their grasp to escape the decay. The ultimate selling point for me was the studio behind Cocoon. Cocoon is the first game by Geometric Interactive, a studio founded by former Playdead employees. Jeppe Carlson, sorry if I butchered that pronunciation, was the lead game designer behind both Limbo and Inside, both absolute works of art, and Cocoon definitely lives up to its predecessors. The core mechanic of shifting in and out of worlds as well as nesting them within each other is so clean and satisfying on its own, but the addition of unique powers for each world takes Cocoon to a whole new level. The traversal powers of the red and green worlds mesh well with each other as you nest them into each other to move them about, since you can only carry one world at a time. And the subtle use of color to distinguish the world or power needed keeps the puzzles clear and readable. Stepping away from the praise for a second, I was disappointed by the lack of the purple world's power being integrated into the dance of the nesting worlds. As it is unlocked nearing the end of the game, and is sidelined in a sense, through the climax up to the end, I feel it is never truly utilized. I also found the White World's power particularly weak, it only felt utilized to its full potential in a brief section when combined with the Red and Green Worlds. The puzzle mechanics are also joined by an interesting mechanic decision that is having completely unique one-time mechanics for boss fights. My speculation is that these were mechanics that didn't quite make the cut for the puzzles, but the developers found interesting enough that they should still be included. I am completely on board with that decision, as I found the boss fights to be an interesting and welcome break between puzzles. I did find myself sometimes aggravated by the one hit and you're out approach to health, especially in the very trial and error unique mechanic circumstances, but luckily the death of being thrown out of the world to quickly be able to jump back in and try again was enough to alleviate that frustration. At the risk of committing a faux pas, when it's at its best, Cocoon's puzzles make you feel an almost godlike control over the order of realities. As a first game from the studio Geometric Interactive, Cocoon has really solidified them as a studio to keep an eye out for. Anybody with an interest in puzzle games owes it to themselves to give Cocoon a try. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with my various gaming videos, and take a look at some of my other reviews on screen now.